Pixel Skyblock is a game full of different playstyles. You could get good gear just to be the strongest player in the game. You could play with friends and have a good time. But no matter how you play Hypixel Skyblock, there are eight skills that will appear in almost everything. Almost anything you do will become a skill. Today in Hypixel Skyblock, we are going to be exploring the different skills. Fishing, enchanting, brewing, forestry, mining, combat, and farming. And today we are going to be exploring all of those skills, seeing how we will level them up and how they will further our gameplay. And that has been me talking at the start of this video. And it is time for you guys to watch the rest of this video. Bye. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Flash Flood Gaming here with our Minecraft video. And in today's video, I am going to be exploring the other parts of Skyblock. Because in last video, I really just went into the mines today. This video, we are going to be dealing with more different pieces of this game. Like skills, forestry, we're going to be exploring different areas of Hypixel. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, let's get on. I think our first area we're going to go to is, uh, some stuff. The first area we are going to go to is the forest, and I will we'll see you there. Here we are at the forest. This is where we're going to get all of our oak stuff. I'm going to talk to the lumberjack to get our first little bit of stuff. So, he's going to give us the sweet axe, which is pretty nice. So, now, uh, what does it do? It has a 20% of 20% chance of dropping an apple while using logs, which is pretty good because because uh, you get apples, and apples cost you can sell apples for more money than oak. So we're just gonna chop some logs for a little while, and yeah. After mining trees for just a little while, we are able to travel to the island called the park here we see multiple different layers to this park where there are different types of trees down here is birch then you have spruce uh, dark oak savanna trees pretty sure it's called acacia and then at the very 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 top you will find the jungle biome the forest actually the probably what it's called so uh once you get there you can unlock a very useful weapon well, not really a weapon but it's called the jungle axe and it is very good for wood farming and can cause a lot of speed when it's coming to uh getting high foraging levels so that is a really useful thing that we're going to be trying to get uh, around this course, but right now we're just going to get to foraging level 5 so we can get up there and hopefully mine some trees. I'll be back once we get to, once we get enough logs, and I'll just be farming birch until I get to foraging level 5, because then I can store stuff. So I'll see you once we are foraging level 5. Okay, so now that we have foraging level 5, we can finally go to the jungle biome. I just was for- Uh-oh, I don't know what this is. To go to the next video, I'm going to point our application. Should I be scared? Okay. Okay, that was kind of scary, but we're going to move on. So, now that we are foraging level 5, we are going to get jungle... We're going to get some jungle wood. What's happening? We're going to get some jungle wood.
I don't know script. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for the jungle area, but here's one thing about the jungle area. Everyone here has either A, a jungle axe, or B, a tree capitator. So it's impossible to get stuff in a busy lobby. So you're gonna have to have a fast axe or a jungle axe if you want to get anything here. So that's kind of an issue, but you know. It's only. It's <laughs> just to get a, one jungle axe. It's only, uh. It's only. It's it's only you only have to get five thousand. Five 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 thousand. I thought it was like one thousand, but yeah, you only need one you only need five thousand jungle wood. And then you can have one jungle axe. And this is this is what I mean. This is There's no wood here. Oh man, let, let me get my three logs. So that's gonna be a bit So that's gonna be a bit of a grind. Uh you must look good in half. So, uh, yeah, it gets so much easier once you have a jungle axe. But people here, like, if you already have a log, they normally give it to you. So this is gonna be a bit of a grind to get jungle axe, but, uh, yeah. So I think we are going to get... I think we're gonna go and explore another area of it. We're probably not gonna really do a lot of fishing, just because, you know, fishing is kind of boring to watch. It's more of like a live stream. Calm down. Okay. Okay, let's just ignore that. Yeah, so that was the park. That's gonna be pretty because uh, this is a really only good place that you can get a lot of wood really fast. And wood is pretty important because you need wood slash forests to get a high uh, you need to get that, you need to get a lot of wood and chop down a lot of trees to get a high forestry level, if you want to get, like, level 50 everything, which, you know, 50 skill average would be pretty cool, and I really enjoy playing this game, so, you know, okay, so, the next area that we're going to be focusing on, well, it's mainly forestry, so, I think, I'm going to go touch and touch on uh, farming a little bit there's not too much going on with farming there's there's some stuff that you can do with that but there's not really a whole lot it, it's really important but there's it's mainly just you know clicking you know like farming is just, just this so you know it's, there's not a lot going on there but you know it's a skill level that, you know, you need. So, I did a little bit of this in my last video, so I can just, you know, show, show a little bit of, show a little bit of those clips real quick. The next one I'm going to go to is combat. Combat is a pretty big skill that is like, found in many different areas. You can do slayer, like slayer levels. You can do uh, dungeons. I think that's what it calls. Uh, you can do. You can go to uh, end. You can go to a lot of places, and it really does expand pretty far. Like right here. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I should explain what those are. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. So what I just found is something that's called a fairy soul. Uh, if you like play Mindplex, you know what this is. But basically, if you get five of them and then give them to this player, no, not player, this character called Tia the Fairy, she will give you stat boosts in strength, some speed, but really not a lot, health and defense. So you get you get some stuff from that, and it's definitely worthwhile to find all of them. The only problem is there's like 300 of them. So, you know, it takes a little while, and they're all hidden in some pretty good spots. So, what you're seeing right here is basically what you do for combat, but right now we're only in the graveyard. So, I think we should try to unlock the 
pathway to spider never mind it's already open because it's so cool so this is the spider's den this is one of three very cool locations very cool islands that you can use to uh get a lot of combat xp here you guys think there's mainly spiders uh, they're pretty strong because i not have a lot of gear right now you have different types of spiders oh wow it's actually kind of shredding um but they do all have different properties. Okay, never mind. That wasn't even me that was killing them. That's fine. Um, but this is a big pathway to the two other fortresses that you can see over here. Right over there, that big, big, another fortress. It's called the Blazing Fortress. Uh, yeah. If we just climb up this hill, we will be able to see. Okay, it's, uh, it's not going to work. If you go up here to this ginormous dragon skull, we'll see the end island, which is basically like the final island for combat. You'll fight dragons, endermen, all that, because you need to. Ha oh, sorry, I'm just trying to that. You need to kill. You need to get to combat level 12 to get in here. I've been playing for a decent while, and I am combat level 8 and uh it it basically gets twice as hard every level you level up so technically i'm like only a third of the way there and this is the gameplay until then um but when you go mining you can fight lots of enemies and such what's going on over here Combat is a pretty big area too, as it is one of the, I think it's like 10 now, one of the 10 skills. Um, but there are three other, th three other skills, and those three skills are fishing, alchemy, and enchanting. Enchanting is not really too exciting. You, There's a thing... Basically, just enchant items and play mini games to get high enchantment levels. It's not much going on there. And then fishing, just fish. No, just, just fish. It's not that difficult. And then to level up brewing, you just need to brew potions. And I think now the uh, potions in this are not bugged, so I might be able to actually might be able to actually, you know brew potions and get a brewing level because last time i tried they just kept denying me and saying these are temporarily disabled which you know kind of sucks so we're gonna try get a couple of those levels up today and yeah but right now i'm gonna try to go into the mines for a little bit to upgrade some of this armor into minor armor hopefully we can get a, at least two pieces uh, ideally, you, oh no, oh no, oh wait, well, I, don't, I do not want to fight those. Oh, I activate this. Uh, I don't even know if these are, oh wait, that's not my slayer. I probably should not do that. I don't know if those are mine or not. So, uh, yeah, I know my inventory is full. So, I'm going to go clear out my inventory and then see you in the mines. That was the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Some Flash Flood Gaming. Leave a comment down below about what you liked about this video or what you didn't like. About leave a comment down below what you think I can improve on in the next upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.